it, we pick on each other and other things, it's totally fine. Like, you, you suck at comedy. Mm -hmm. I get that. Everybody mm -hmm. knows that. Mm -hmm. All that stuff. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to religion, uh, you have to be, you have no. to be tiptoe. No, I don't. No, I don't. Well, I do. With anybody. And by the way, you brought up like Muslims and Jews. Dude, I sit at synagogues and talk to, to rabbis all the time and pick their brains. I sit with Muslim people. They're most peaceful people. We went so to Saudi Arabia. Right? I want you to say it right now. Who's right? Who's, whose God Who, is real? My God is real in my eyes. Not Allah. I don't believe that Allah is real in my eyes. A lot of Muslims would that, disagree with you. But does that mean I have to disrespect their beliefs? No. And you're so like power driven that you will mold past your friends and family without accidentally without knowing. If I say something, I've said it intentionally. Can you give an example? Of what, what, what one that saying? really hurt me is you told me I need a therapist because I believe in Jesus. There's a lot uh, to unpack there. Uh, I'm not, I got to admit, I am 34, which doesn't seem like it's that old, but I missed the Logan Paul train. I don't really uh, get some of this stuff, um, but I'm sure he's a very wise individual. Uh, I don't know if that comes through in his videos, <laughs> but uh, I would say, uh, th there's a fake one fake distinction is that you uh, either need Jesus or a therapist. Uh, this is of course not true. You can have Jesus and a therapist, <laughs> and Jesus wills that some of you uh, would seek help in mental health counseling. Uh, this idea that I should just go directly to Jesus and He'll solve all my problems is not a very Catholic understanding. Anyway, uh, God uses all sorts of uh, intermediary means by which we encounter Him: family, friends, the sacraments of the church priests, religious, uh, spouses, <laughs> you name it, uh, including mental health professionals. So uh, it's possible that you love Jesus very much, and he is the source of life. And one of the ways in which he ministers to you is through the workings of uh, people on earth who uh, can help you with things. Um, this, uh, in addition, this sort of, sort of critique of which religion is right or which God do you believe in? I always find that uh, kind of silly. Uh, one, one thing I think uh, a more nuanced view helps us to understand that there's some truth, uh, as St. Thomas Aquinas would say, in every statement that any belief in a God or gods is uh, participating in some way, the belief in the one true God, which we as Christians would believe that we do believe in the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, uh, that he's omnipotent, omniscient, and all-loving, that he's uh, immaterial, that he's simple, etc., 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 that he became man. Uh, and so we don't just say, this one's right, this one's wrong. We say, this one's right. That's what we say by faith. But there's also levels and degrees to which other belief systems are right. I think another way in this that this is misleading is that uh, billions of people say the Islamic faith is right. Billions of people say that the Christian faith is right. Uh, probably a billion and a half people say that the Hindu religion is right. Another couple billion people might say that no religion is right. So no one must be right. Well, wh why do we think that about anything? Uh, sometimes I think, you know, people say, well, if I was born uh, Catholic, I'd be Catholic. If I was born Jewish, I'd be Jewish. If I'd be born Muslim, I'd be Muslim. There's a lot of truth to that because family plays a big role in how we see the world. That being said, if you were born in a really nice house in a really nice neighborhood uh, and you could consider it, well, if I was born poor in a very tr tough neighborhood to a broken family, that's what my life would have been like. That's right. But you were born uh, with a loving family in a really nice neighborhood and economically successful. So that's what your experience is. Is that like no different than the other? <laughs> Isn't it better to have central heating and food on the table and uh, a mom and dad in the home? Uh, it doesn't mean that someone born into poverty can't experience love and, and grow to be a great person. But it does mean, like, on one hand, one of those situations is a lot better than the other situation. They're not the same. The same way is, yeah, we can be born into different belief systems, political systems, and ultimately faith systems, but just being born into one versus the other doesn't make them all the same. It might just be that one gets more right than the other one. And obviously, as Christians, without being prideful or arrogant about it, we would believe that we do have the true faith. And yeah, there's other faiths that claim that they have the true faith. But that doesn't end the conversation that actually spurs us on to have an honest and open dialogue with each other to learn about our similarities, learn about our differences, and to be confident in talking about them. The idea that you can take this sort of superior notion that I'm above religion is very fake, and everyone belongs to some religious philosophy or another. And I pity the person who worships himself because at some point that person will realize that he's not the God that he thinks he is, and that religion will come crashing down in a very spectacular 
and a sad way. So I, instead of worshiping myself, I will worship the God who created me. Thanks for watching Stand Firm Project, and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.